right, cut that shit. Sorry. That's my other job, popping my cooch in the face of strangers. What's up, guys? How are you? Fuck, yeah. Making eyebrows at me, huh? I'm sorry, I talk a lot. Did you guys see my name on the marquee? <laughs> Fortune, you trying to guess? Can we buy a bell comedy store? What the fuck? I talk a lot of shit. East Coast, we talk a lot of shit, don't we? East Coast people, we do. It, we, there's not one unexpressed thought running around the East Coast. We say whatever we feel. It completely is. That's why I love going home, because I need material. And <laughs> my family brings it. They do. I come from a big, crazy Irish Catholic family. We have Irish Catholic. Thank you, four of us. Um, meanwhile, none of them pull out, but... <laughs> So I don't know where they are. I have nine brothers and sisters I have. That's disgusting, right? <laughs> My mother had 10 kids. Like, even the Mexicans are like, that's a lot. And <laughs> it is. That's a lot of kids, right? I don't have any. I would never carry to full term. I don't... Uh... <laughs> okay, in the middle liked it. The sides are... <laughs> this is a pro-life rally, you guys? <laughs> Christian coalition over there. <laughs> Just, you got a meeting after this? <laughs> My mom's completely out of control. I, she's in her 80s now. 80 years old. Like, she's 85 now, right? And I torture her a lot. I do. I make her watch wild shit. I made her watch that Jeffrey Dahmer series. <laughs> Have you guys seen it? No. no. Whatever. <laughs> Number one show on Netflix. I'm the only one watching it. <laughs> Me like I'm watching it and rubbing one out. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I just wanted to see it because there was a lot of things I forgot. A lot of things I forgot. Like I forgot specifically where he was from, right? I knew it was the middle of the country. That's where this shit happens. <laughs> I forgot he was gay. I don't know why. I just didn't think about it. I don't know why, right? So now I'm like, I want to watch this because I'm nosy and I want to see what happened. Like, I don't remember what happened. <laughs> I remember. Like, I don't remember everything. I don't rem I remember the main course. <laughs> Thank you for getting that joke. <laughs> It's just, like, I remember, you know, what he did. It was kind of creepy, whatever. Kind of. Uh, very creepy. <laughs> I should pay attention to what I'm saying. <laughs> but so I, I'm watching. At first, I thought, oh, this might scare my mom. And then I was like, ah, fuck it. She's 85. She won't remember. <laughs> right, this side, like, this side, like, you're on my mom's side. Eat shit, all right? <laughs> I kept watching it, right? I got hooked immediately. I did. I got hooked immediately. I literally was watching. I was like, oh, my God, this is great. I'm with the neighbor. I'm like, get him, get him, get him, right? I'm so excited. I'm watching this thing. I'm, like, totally hooked. My mom, she looked at me, and she goes, oh, honey, <sighs> this gay stuff is a lot. <laughs> Three fucking people. <laughs> You're worried he's sucking cock? <laughs> I do this all day. <laughs> I was never like, hey, let's boil this guy, right? <laughs> it's weird, like, she's getting in her old age, she's getting into weird stuff, she's saying weird stuff. Like, I have a niece, 25 years old, she came out of the closet. 25, that's kind of late, right? Okay, there's like seven people that said well, This is L.A. Oh, what have we got, a bunch of homophobes in here? 25 is late. I knew she was gay her whole life. She's like, Anna, you did not know. I'm like, bitch, I knew you were gay. I'm thrilled you're out. Let's have a finger party. I'm into this shit. I got excited, right? I'm like, let's do this. She met somebody, she fell in love, she got married this year. How cool is that, right? I was very happy for her. I took my mom to the bridal shower. We're sitting at the bridal shower, and we found out her wife, her partner, is going to take her last name. Right? I thought that was so cool. I'm, like, crying. My mom goes, ah. 
So she's the boy? <laughs> so we gotta put her down. Um, the kids have voted her off the island. <laughs> People get mad at me. They're like, how come you don't have kids? You don't have kids. You come from such a people that all have kids. You don't have any kids. Aren't you nervous? You're not married. You don't have kids. You're going to die alone. Oh right? <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm fucking happy about that. I want to die alone. I want to be one of those fucked up people that they have to turn over to the state. <laughs> that kind of shit where it's like nobody wants this one right and then they turn it over to and I know I know you guys watch it because you guys are wild like me right I watch this weird shit I saw this on the news right the old, you go to the old folks home right and they're just fucking up an old person you've seen that where the nurses are fucked, right oh I'm the only one that watches weird videos fuck you be the hood rat old lady that goes to the old folks home and I'm like not today bitch <laughs> take my earrings out and put Vaseline on my face and beat the shit out of this bitch wouldn't that be great yeah. take a hip out and cut her up the stomach <laughs> probably not gonna happen I'll probably die before then but you know what I mean I still think it would be fun <laughs> Always ask, how come you're not married? I've been engaged a couple times. Uh, it's none of your fucking business. And three times. I'm not a closer. So uh, <laughs> it's not my thing, right? And I, like everybody says, oh, why don't you date Irish guys? Irish guys? Why would I date Irish guys? Not, nothing against the Irish guys. Are you Irish? What, what the fuck is this? Yes. <laughs> what else is in there, 50-50? You swab your cheek, it just comes out whiter. What? Austria. Austria, yeah, it just got real fucking white. <laughs> Take it out and the Q-tip will blind you. Whoa, what the fuck is in that guy? Every Euro trash you can think of. Same. I'm Irish. I'm, a, I'm Irish. I'm, I always say I'm 100% Irish. He's Irish. I always say I'm 100% Irish. And then my mom goes, and a little English. I'm like, yeah, I know how rape works. So, okay, not a reading crowd. All right. Uh, moving on, right? But I never need it guys because that's a, the thing with Irish guys is like I swear they used to pull them aside when they were younger and they would say don't ever pull out <laughs> even if she's pregnant just shoot one behind it <laughs> always keep one in the chamber that's their motto that's how they make Irish twins these fucking idiots do you know what Irish twins are Mexicans, do you know? They go, no. <laughs> Irish twins, that's when you and your sibling are born in the same year. Right? And my mom's like, oh, it's so cute for a month and a half. You and your brother Billy are the same age. <laughs> I'm like, no, you're a whore. <laughs> you got to sit down. Cross your legs. Sit on an ice pack. <laughs> Let a stitch dissolve. Jesus Christ. I came out choking. They're like, on the umbilical cord? I'm like, no, this bitch was still sewn up. Wow, you guys. <laughs> it's my mom's least favorite joke, I know. Not her least favorite joke. I do this other one about anal beads that she doesn't like, but... It's hard to do, Poppy, because it's still Lent. And my anal beads are rosary beads, so it is hard. Look at the Catholics all nervous. It's like, oh God, relax. I still say the rosary, I just take them out slower. I know, I'm going to hell, and I'm fine with it. <laughs> Just gonna burst into flames right here. Who cares? I hate being cold. Burn it up, right? <laughs> My mom got mad. The last time she came to see me, I did that joke, right? And she was like, you need church. You've been living in L.A. with those heathens too long. She blamed L.A. I'm like, I've had these in since high school. Why are you... <laughs> 
She made me go to church. Do you guys go to church? They said, no, yeah, this side, no, you don't look like church goers, but I, I don't go to, I'm not good at church. Like, I don't know what happens. Once they start singing those hymns, the devil just starts moving. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, yeah. I can't do it. I know I'm an asshole. I get it. And every time, like, I, I, my mom made me go to church. I was like, fine, I'll go to church. I go in there. The beads are burning. I was like, this is not. <laughs> I'm in there. I'm like, okay. I'm sitting down. I'm like trying to be calm. I had a clip in my hair. I took the clip out. I was trying to entertain myself, right? Keep myself quiet. So I'm like playing with the clip. I'm like jaws in the water. I'm jumping up and down. I'm biting missilettes. I'm having a good time. Dun, 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 right? I'm playing. I see my mom's leg. I bit it because I thought that would be cute. I bit it, right? And she elbows me in the throat. Now I'm choking like a Kardashian on a date. I'm like... Ugh. I'm kidding. They don't choke. Um, these bitches are hollow. Are you shitting me? can't kill a man's career with a gag reflex. <laughs> Where is Kanye? Anyway, um, so, but uh, what happened was when my mom did that, my nieces were next to me and they're like, Aunt Elle, you don't have to put up with that. I'm like, what? I'm like, you want to move over? Because she'll fuck you up too. That's a new school parent thing, not getting hit. Who's with me? Who got their ass kicked growing up? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, we are a dying breed. And <laughs> these little spoiled fuckers, right? Here's the thing, like, I don't have kids, so I, you know, I talk shit, but I don't have kids. And I went to, my, I, all my friends have kids. All my friends have kids. And if you don't have kids and your friends have kids, they try to push them on you, right? <laughs> they just push you. You want to come see my kid do a cartwheel? <laughs> No. Are they going to do it off an overpass? I'll watch that. Put a little X Games in that shit. I'll come by. I don't like to go see dumb shit, right? I was like, all right, she, my, my friend got me. She got me to go see her son's Little League game, right? She got me. I was like, fine. And it's right here in West Hollywood. I love West Hollywood. I don't know if you guys are familiar. Very busy area. A lot of queers out there sucking cock. And I'm not judging them. I'm usually out there with them. Neck and neck. We play a game called Who Can Change Who? We are out there. I lose a lot. These guys are good. Uh, <laughs> these fuckers got lockjaw or some shit. <laughs> Getting killed out there. Anyway, so I go to the game, right? And I'm like, and these kids weren't like little, little. They were old enough to know like the fundamentals of the game. So I'm like, oh, cool. I'm going to see a competitive game because I'm all excited. I'm very competitive. I grew up, I have six brothers. I had to share a room with them. Like, it was not easy, right? I played football, padded football. I didn't fuck around. I wore a helmet. I wore shoulder pad. I wore a cup. <laughs> I put my clit in a cup, people. I mean, I kind of had to, but that's a different story. <laughs> because from sharing a room with my brothers, I would like pull and pull like they did. <laughs> And it like stretched out, you know, you just keep pulling. I could, I could never get it to like shoot like they can. Now I can. Now I have like a high arc. So I, um, problem is it sticks out a little and that's uncomfortable. Like a little shark fin, right? It's cute. So sometimes in the tub, I'll be like, baby shark, do -do 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 -do. baby shark, do -do 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 -do. <laughs> who wants me to babysit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. My brothers were animals, too. They would rub one out to anything. Honest to God. They used to do it to Sears catalogs. <laughs> so you young fuckers are going to have to Google that. But a Sears catalog, that was old school porn for you fuckers, right? <laughs> Look at him. He's like, hell yeah. Look at him. It's like weird because these guys. 
my, my brothers would get all excited. There'd be like an elderly woman with a tan bra, like long tits, high underwear. I'm like, and they'd be like, ah. Oh. I'm like, that's what got you, you fucking idiot. I'm trying to buy school clothes. All the pages are stuck together. It's a problem. Anyway, <laughs> so back to Little League. and uh, <laughs> So I grew up different. I'm a little fucked up, right? So I go to the game, and I forgot about this new school parent shit, right? I forgot everybody's a winner. And we know they're not. I could see some losers here tonight. I don't care what your parents told you. It's bullshit. Right? It's crazy to me. So we go, I go to the game, and I'm all excited. I'm like, fuck, yeah, right? Immediately, the ball is hit. It's hit to the second baseman. This is the second baseman. I swear to God, he went like this. I'm like, hey, whose fucking idiot is on second? Get that kid off the field, right? I'm losing my shit. Now I'm saying things you're not supposed to fucking say. And I'm losing it, right? Because I'm freaking out. I'm like, hey, here's the thing. It's okay he made an error. That's okay. We all make errors, right? Big, No big deal. But he didn't even chase it. He looked at it like... I guess my mom will get that. She picks up everything else. Like a little cocky fucker, right? So I'm like, get him off the fucking field. I didn't realize his parents were right next to me. I'm saying horrible shit, horrible shit, right? My friends are like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> and the parents are like, you're killing it. <laughs> you're doing great, honey. I'm like, you don't know what killing it means, bitch, right? I'm just, steam is coming out of my head. My eyes are shooting fire, right? And I'm like, oh, this is bullshit. This is ridiculous, right? It took him an hour and a half to get out of this inning. I'm chewing on a revolver. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who would carry the full term? Why? <laughs> this is insane, right? I'm losing my shit, right? They come off the field. The parents are like, you want a Capri Sun? <laughs> he doesn't get a Capri Sun. <laughs> you give it to him without the straw. See if that little fucker can get the juice out. <laughs> I know I can. <laughs> and half this neighborhood can. <laughs> so my friends got mad. They go, look, you're going to get us kicked out, bitch. You got to go behind the bleachers, right? <laughs> so they kicked me out. I'm behind the bleachers like an asshole, right? I'm standing behind the bleachers. Now I just start people watching, a.k.a. homeless watching. <laughs> no, we have a lot of homeless in L.A., right? Look at look at LA. What? We have nothing. Everything's fine. Fuck you. Look around, cocksuckers. And let me tell you something. LA homeless? Gorgeous. I'm like, what were you guys all extras in the movie 300? What? These guys are coming out of their tent shredded. I'm like, do you wait in there? I'll be looking. I'm like, oh my God, it's shag carpet, right? This guy, I'm looking for things to decorate my apartment with. I'm like, look how nice they set that up. One guy on the sidewalk had a lava light going. Like, how do you have a lava light? Do you have electricity? He's like, oh, that runs on Wi-Fi. Are you using my password, you piece of shit? <laughs> So I'm, I'm standing on the, behind the bleachers, right? And this guy came up. I don't know if he was homeless. I don't. He had bangs, and that's uncomfortable. <laughs> like a short bang, right? And he had a little bit of a belly, right? He had a Freddy Krueger sweater on. I think it was the actual Freddy Krueger sweater. It could have been him, the out-of-work actor. I don't know. <laughs> And he had like a little bit of a belly and he kept putting the drink on there. He was just sipping out of a cup and he kept like putting it on his belly and then sipping. And he beelines over to this little blonde haired blue eyed kid, right? And I'm like, oh shit. And his, the little boy's parents weren't paying attention. And I'm like, oh, stranger danger. Uh, I'm trying to think of things to say, baby shark. No, no, nothing's coming out. I couldn't think of anything. 
I'm like, help somebody, right? And so he went right over to him. The little boy was kind of mesmerized by him, right? And he looked at him, he goes, what are you drinking? <laughs> and the guy goes, I'm drinking Diet Coke. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> goes diet coke what is that i never heard of diet coke he goes diet coke doesn't have any sugar in it so you can drink as much as you want and never get fat <laughs> and the little boy goes i know it has fat in it beer do you drink that because you're fat <laughs> i was like fuck yeah this kid's not getting kidnapped today <laughs> He's got jokes. I'm like, get him, get him, right? I'm excited, because first of all, I, I did get nervous that, God forbid, the ki kid gets kidnapped. You know, that's a big thing today. Not when I was growing up. When I was growing up, I remember in South Philadelphia, I went to my mother and I said, Mom, there is a guy driving around in a white van picking kids up. And she went, why don't you go outside? <laughs> And I was like, well, what if he kidnaps me? She goes, he'll bring you back. <laughs> she was right. So now, <laughs> but now they give a shit, right? Plus, this kid's blonde hair, blue eyes. Those are high sellers. So, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm the only one that knows the market. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Those are high sellers, right? So I'm like, oh my God, I'm watching this kid. And the guys kept, the, the little boy was like basically just enthralled with this man. He's staring at him. And the guy looked at him and he went, what is your name? <laughs> and the boy's just staring at him. Finally, the kid's mother turned around and she goes, his name is Corvette. <laughs> What in the fucking wide world of white people is Corvid? Paco, have you ever heard of this name, Corvid? Don't they know that nobody likes white people? Stop naming your kids weird shit. Corvid, I never heard of this name. Without missing a beat, the homeless guy goes, Corvid, like the bird? <laughs> Who the fuck knows what a Corvid bird is? I'm gonna guess a pedophile. <laughs> that shit fucked me up. I start yelling at them. I'm like, you get the fuck out of here, sir. You're a creep, right? Because when he said Corvid, I was on the homeless guy's side. I'm like, all right, let's kidnap this little fucker, right? <laughs> I get kicked out because I'm yelling at the homeless guy. I, and so I go and I find my other homeless friends. I have a lot of homeless friends because I'm lonely and I talk to everybody. And it's LA, it's hard to meet people. So I'm out there like, what's your tent, huh? <laughs> Not leaving a TP standing. And uh, all right, too soon with that. People are getting up to piss. Sir, didn't you fucking listen? Anyway. <laughs> Sucker. Prostate. It's a pain in the ass, huh? Either that or he's like, is that Caitlyn Jenner on stage? I gotta go rub one out. And... But this is what happens. So I was leaving the park, right? And I saw a couple of my friends, like the homeless guys. There's one guy in particular I see all the time. I always talk to this one guy, right? So when I walked over, and I'm out of town for like two, three weeks at a clip sometimes. So I'm like, they might not remember me, but I'm like, oh, hey, how are you? And he goes, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. I'm like, oh my God, he noticed. <laughs> so I'm walking back with him, and because he lives in my neighborhood, not inside, but he lives on the outside. And... <laughs> I live in the, in, anyway, so we were walking, and as we're walking, we're talking, and he goes, hey, can I ask you something? I go, yeah. He goes, uh, you want to go out? <laughs> I'm like, you are out, fucker. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Why don't you try getting in? <laughs> so I'm fucking this homeless guy, and... It's hard to date, right? It's, uh, people, people try to get me on dating apps. Have you done this shit? Anybody done this shit? Mexicans don't do this shit. Have you ever, I thought, no, right? People don't like it. It's, it's weird. I don't understand how people do it, right? My friend was driving me crazy. She's like, you got to get on a dating app. I'm like, fine. She's the, one of the first questions, like, what's your sign? 
Horny. How about that? Is that on there? <laughs> Fuck do I know? I need action. Can we put that in? Like, I, I don't get it. So when we put my sign, right? I, I'm a Virgo. Not that I don't even know what the fuck that means. But I did it. My friend goes, you barely know your sign. She goes, um, does that mean you don't know your moon sign? <laughs> what the fuck is a moon sign? Anybody know what this is? I, I'm from South Philadelphia. In my neighborhood, we didn't look up to see if Mercury was finger in retrograde. <laughs> In my neighborhood, if we look up, we get hit in the throat, and we get robbed. Do you understand? <laughs> I don't, my questions are this. Are you circumcised? <laughs> Do I need a Q-tip? <laughs> All right, there might be a lot of turtlenecks in here. You guys got, got a little tight on that one. It's just weird. I'm gonna start meeting people on TikTok. You go on TikTok? You do that? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Looking for boobies? You got them right there. Those are beautiful. Every time you should laugh at the ripple. <laughs> I just, I have like chicken cutlets in here, all kinds of shit. It's like build a tip for me when I leave the house. <laughs> So I'm just jealous. I'm jealous. Those are hot, though. <laughs> TikTok's out of control. I, I I go on there, but only just, I don't know why. I got my nieces and nephews are like, you know, TikTok's where it's at, right? And it's like, here, here's the thing. TikTok was invented in China, right? And it was invented so they can watch their kids prosper. Did you know that? Yeah, they, like their kids are curing cancer. They're coming up with apps to make our lives better, right? They're engineers. They're unbelievable. Then you go to America and they're like, get ready with me. <laughs> <laughs> For what? The end of the world? What the fuck are you doing? And you go on there and it's these young girls putting on so much makeup and their, their skin is gorgeous, but they're just pouring it on there, right? I was following this one girl. I'm like, I can do this. I can look good like her, right? I put so much moisturizer, it was dripping off my face. I'm like Cujo in my fucking bathroom, waiting it out. I'm like, is this normal? She's like, let it dry. I'm like, it's not, it's dripping, bitch. <laughs> And then she goes, she literally goes, don't forget your primer. What the fuck is primer? What am I, a Buick? What is primer? I've never heard of primer. Did you, have you heard of primer? No, that's some bullshit these kids made up. By the way, primer, $65. $65 for a primer this big, right? You know where that is? That's on a, a little shelf in my bathroom with a light over it. <laughs> We don't touch the primer. I only bring the primer out if I'm doing anal. You understand? That's, that's a special occasion. Primer. These kids are out of control. They'll sell you anything, right? And then I kept following it, right? Because I was trying to like do my makeup like hers. And I, you know, instead of going out like this where it looks like my kidnapper did it. And... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. And <laughs> so I go, uh, whatever. I do. So I'm doing everything she says, and she's like, "Don't forget your bronzer. Don't forget your highlighter." Because that's how they talk on there. <laughs> right? <laughs> Sounds like a dolphin out of water. You're like, what the fuck? You know? <laughs> Ears are bleeding. I'm like, let me get the blood off, and then I'll put the primer back on. And it's like, don't forget your bronzer and your highlighter. So I put it all on. And at one point, I looked like an Indian chief. I was like, this has to be cultural appropriations. She's like, put a feather in your hat. I'm like, too far, bitch. Too far. And she goes, blam, blam, blam. I'm like, I have to because I'm going to get canceled, canceled, canceled. You fucking idiot. And I blend it, right? I'm blending, like fucking, I'm, I'm, there was holes in my face. I'm blending, I'm blending, right? And I'm like pushing, pushing, trying to get this to blend in, right? She looked stunning, right? I didn't realize this. Young people, you fuck with the elderly on there. That's what you do. She put a filter on. I don't know what a filter is. I don't know how to, a filter to me is on a cigarette. Are you out of your fucking mind? 
grew up in a typewriter store. I don't know how to get a filter on a phone. I can barely take a picture that's not blurry. Are you out of your fucking mind? I'm like flipping out, right? I'm blending, blending, trying to get... She looked stunning. I looked like a clown car pulled over and bukkake on my face. I... I love seeing young people at comedy clubs. Young people at comedy clubs, that means you're not home yelping somebody out of existence. That is a big deal, you guys out. That means, you know, that's good. You're laughing, you're having fun, right? Because every time I go home, my nieces and nephews are like, Aunt L, we are not talking to Pop Pop anymore. I'm like, why? They're like, Pop Pop uses the wrong pronouns. I'm like, Pop Pop's 87. He doesn't know what a fucking pronoun is. Also, Pop Pop fought in Korea. If he has a flashback, you're a goner, bitch. These kids are mixed. He don't know who the fuck they are. Pull shoe first, ask questions later. My dad has shot me a couple times. One time he shot me with a rifle, and when I complained, he goes, relax, I shot you with blanks. Finally, 10 kids later, this prick is shooting blanks. One time he shot me with a 45, this close, like you could see the fire come out of it. Now it's weird, because it's the only way I can come, and I don't know how to... Some of you got judgy. Some of you got a little judgy. That's why it's hard for me to date. What am I gonna date, Alec Baldwin? Like, it's not. What? He's the hot Baldwin, you know that, right? I know he talks a lot, but he's not. When I first moved to LA, I'm like, I'm gonna fuck Alec Baldwin. And my friends are like, are you crazy? You can't fuck Alec Baldwin. He hits women. I'm like, I could take a punch. <laughs> but now I'm like, fuck, I gotta wear a vest. <laughs> <laughs> Alec will like that joke. <laughs> he can take a joke. Have you met his wife? <laughs> I wanted to do my comedy special, my first comedy special here at the comedy store because I, I'm going to fucking date myself right now, so just deal with it, okay? This is going to propel my career to the next level. I have been here for 30 years. I know. I'll be dead within the hour. Now. My name is Eleanor. I'm elderly, and... Uh, <laughs> I, I, so I moved here, and I moved right up, right behind the comedy store, right up on Queens Road. We ha I, had a, I was living in a house with a bunch of people, right? And I was looking for a job, and I'm walking around all over, and I came down here, trekked down the hill, came down here, and I was like, what is this dark hole? <laughs> I was like, this looks familiar. <laughs> And so I came in and I was like, hey, are you guys hiring? And they were like, oh, yeah. And I remember people here like to fuck with you, right? You don't know that. But if you try to apply for a job here, they will fuck with you. <laughs> it's a comedy club. Did I think of that? No. They were like, yeah, we're hiring. You should come back later and meet the owner, Mitzi Shore. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, okay. So I did. And they were like, and wear heels. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Thank God I only had heels this high. Mm -hmm. So I'm walking down the hill, and that is a high hill. I'm trekking down that hill. There's sparks coming off my fucking shoe. <laughs> and I be, I'm like, I better get this fucking job. I'm gonna kill everybody, right? I'm walking like I got my nuts are slinging, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not good, and I do have a ball back. So here's the thing, you'll see that after. That's my closer, hold on. So. I'm coming down the hill, right? And I'm like, oh my God, this is, so I come in and I'm talking to Mitzi Shore, who happens to be this big. Now I'm towering over her and I'm just looking at her. She doesn't like tall people. <laughs> because when you're waiting tables at a comedy club, you aren't the show, the waitress, right? So as a waitress, you would be in the way if you're tall. Me, they made me wear heels, these pricks. <laughs> so I'm like on top of this woman. She's asking me questions, and I'm like, what's that? You know, because she's in a different atmosphere. <laughs> and I like... 
like, I'm like leaning down and I'm like, and she's like, what, have you waited tables before? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And she's like, oh, are you from Philadelphia? And I go, yeah. She goes, do you know Dom Irera? <laughs> I go, I've heard of Dom Irera. Of course I have, right? And she goes, okay, you're hired. Lose the fucking heels. <laughs> So I got hired 30 years ago. And Mitzi and I became really good friends. Oh, thank you. It's more of a sad story. Um, I'm kidding. Because here's the thing, like I waited tables here for 12 years, right? 12 years waited tables here. And then I left and came back a year later as a comic. If that's not mental illness. <laughs> I don't know what is, right? And so, like, Mitzi and I got real close. We went, we, she got me my first stamp and my uh, passport. She took me to the Dominican Republic. Yeah, fun, huh? Yeah. But we didn't go for, like, a vacation. You know, we weren't on the beach tanning. We were getting stem cell injections. <laughs> Not me, her, right? She's getting stem cell injections. I don't know what this is. I'm a fucking poor kid from South Philly. I don't know what this bitch is into. <laughs> but, you know, rich people, they'll just put anything in them to stay alive, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, it's okay. Like, I, by the way, I'm pro stem cells. Like, I didn't know what it was prior to this, but now I'm like, fuck, yeah. This really... <laughs> This should be available to everybody. This is bullshit. Because it helped her, right? It didn't, like, cure her disease, but it definitely slowed it down, right? And it made her really, like, she was really vibrant. But we're in the Dominican Republic, and I'm signing a piece of paper as the police are going by on a donkey. I'm signing the paper <laughs> that says if she gets sick, they will not treat her in the United States of America. And I'm like, oh, so if she fucking dies, it's weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> Until I get this bitch back to Pauly Shore. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, Pauly, your mom's fine. I left her on the couch. See you later, buddy. Um, I'm having a panic attack. I'm like, I don't know what to do, right? So I sign the paper. She, everybody always thinks of Mitzi, and they say, oh, she's this mean old lady. She, w she was mean. She can be mean. She can be mean in that she would tell you the truth about your stand-up. So, yeah, people don't like honesty. That comes off as mean, right? So she would tell you the truth, but she was very funny. And we're in the Dominican Republic, right? She's laying on this table. We're in an abandoned hospital. <laughs> I swear to God, this shit ain't lying. They give her stem cell injections. I didn't know what it was. She looked at me. She went, I hope that one had blood blonde hair and blue eyes. <laughs> Almost shit my pants. I was like, fuck yeah, bitch. <laughs> For a while, I was, uh, you know, going on a lot of auditions, right? I'd go on these auditions, and they were really good auditions because they were in hotel lobbies. So I knew <laughs> they were top-notch. So I'd go on this audition, and I was there, and it was for a show called Wow Women of Wrestling. <laughs> right? Okay? Um, if you don't know, I mean, some of you are deep fans. I'm an easy rider. Anyway... <laughs> So I go on this audition and I got the job because I'm an idiot. <laughs> now I'm like, oh shit, I gotta tell my mom. Because my mom, who only, she had four boys in a row. When she had me, she was like, I just want this little girl, a little girl who's gonna wear dresses and do girl things. And then I came out pulling on the clip. You understand? <laughs> Not good. I come out like a little tomboy, I'm rough and tough, right? I get out, and so I, I'm at, I have to call her and tell her I am now gonna be a wrestler <laughs> on television. She is living vicariously through me because she thinks I'm gonna be this major actress, right? I wanted to be Meryl Streep. She wanted me to be Meryl Streep. They did not. <laughs> So I go, I, I call her up, I'm on a cell phone, I'm on, it's 2000, the year 2000. I'm on a cell phone, I call my mom, I go, hey mom, 
don't get mad at me. I'm going to take this job. It's a wrestling show. She goes, oh, my God, that's so great. They have such great women characters on the show. I go, what the fuck are you on? <laughs> so I go, Mom, I, 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 don't, I don't think you're understanding what I'm saying. The cell phone reception isn't good. I'll call you from a landline. We get home. I call her. My sister Karen answers. She goes, yo, you're going to be on West Wing? <laughs> Do you know how hard it was to explain to my mother that I wasn't going to be with Martin Sheen? I was going to have a woman with a mullet in a sleeper hold? They told the whole fucking neighborhood... Half the family, I'm a, so now I'm wrestling, but I'm also working here at the comedy store and I'm working with Mitzi during the day, right? So I'm showing up at Mitzi's house with a Thomas collar on because I broke my, I had a hairline fracture in my collarbone. I got a black eye. I walk in her house and she goes, oh, honey, who's doing this to you? And I go, no, no, I, I'm doing the wrestling show. You don't have to lie to me. <laughs> I'll take care of you. <laughs> How sweet is that? Uh, meanwhile, I'm like, watch this drop kick. <laughs> I just wanted to tell that story. Thank you guys so much for coming out. You guys are fantastic.